Francis Ngannou blames Anthony Joshua defeat on tiredness. Oh, he was sweepy. I'll say one thing. He fits right in to the world of boxing, you know. What would the world of boxing be without the uh, excuses after getting just destroyed like that? You know what Francis and God is reminding me of right now? Francis and Ganu is reminded me of Deontay Wilder. I mean, think about it. Francis and Ganu is doing the same thing that Deontay Wilder was doing when he suffered a defeat to Tyson Fury. Like this one right here. Do y'all remember this excuse? It says. Uh, Deontay Water claims his water was spiked before the Tyson Fury rematch and accuses former trainer Mark Breland of being part of the plot to dethrone him. Yo, and that's just the first excuse, man. There was so many more like this other one. It says Glovegate. Wilder embarrassingly claims Fury's hands were loaded again as he accuses boxing champ of cheating and abusing drugs. And I mean, the list just goes on. It's literally so many more excuses. I could go into a whole nother video about how many excuses Deontay Wilder made. Um. I really like the one about the suit being too heavy on his on his legs. That was my favorite one. Said he was going to fight that way. You know that wasn't the Deontay that we've seen for you know forty some plus fights. What do you what do you think happened? Did he hurt you early on that you know affected you the rest of the way? No, he didn't. He didn't hurt me at all. It was the simple fact that you know my, my uniform coming out, Kevin, was was way too heavy. For me, I, I didn't have no legs um, from, the, from the beginning of the fight. Now I know this was a long time ago, but if you want me to make a video on how many excuses Deontay Wilder made to maybe refresh in everybody's memory or just for the fuck of it, man, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to do that. But. The reason I'm making this video is because I think that the fight to make next I want to see is Deontay Wilder versus Francis Ngannou. If you really stop and think about it, this fight just makes too much sense not to make. They're both coming off of losses. Uh, one-sided losses, not even close losses. So both of these guys are in need of a moral victory. Hell, they're in need of a victory in general. They just need a win. I don't want to get paid to lose. I want to win! Yeah, man. These guys just need a win. Let's take a look at a couple of Highlights from these guys' last performance. Parker beat it from pillar to post. Had the nigga doing this, like I said. I'm sniping, yeah, nigga. Yeah, what the fuck you thinking, hey, nigga? I won't die for this shit or what the fuck I said. Bro, I'm going to die for a day by the ass. See, Gucci, that's my motherfucking nigga. I ain't throw hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Let you stank it, nigga. What the fuck you thinking, nigga? I won't die for this shit or what the fuck I said. Bro, I'm going to die for a day with the ass. See, Gucci, that's my motherfucking nigga. I hang in the jail with them hit squad killers Walk a flock of flame more in the hood ass niggas Water real slow, big in corners You stankin' nigga, what the fuck you thinkin' nigga? I won't die
now that we have seen our King Deontay Waters highlights, let's uh let's check out our good brother Francis and Ganu's highlights from his last performance. Focus. So yeah, as you guys can see, both of these guys are down bad. Plus, I think this fight makes business sense, man. I think that uh, this would do great numbers. I don't see why not. Francis Ngannou is a big name still. Deontay Wilder is a big name. And also, you know, besides all that, Tyson, I'm sorry, before the Tyson Fury fight, Francis Ngannou was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder anyway. So in a sense, it's unfinished business, you know. Um, so yeah, man, just a couple reasons why I think that Deontay Wilder and Francis Ngannou should fight next. Let's do a recap because they're both coming off losses. Uh, both need wins. Both are making excuses. Both are down bad. And overall, because if it makes money, it makes sense, man. And with that, let me know what y'all think. Leave your comments down in the comment section. This has been your boy O Dog Boxing, and I'm out this bitch.